If the water doesn't move, there's no friction. If there's no friction, you can use water hotter than if the water is moving. So getting into a still hot tub allows it to be used at a higher water temperature. When you get in the hot water, the health benefits are forced into your body because you're, cool, you're cooler than the hot water, so the heat's gonna go in. As the heat penetrates through your skin, your sweat glands, which you have 2.3 million of, are stimulated to start pulling toxic material out of your body. So the heat enters your skin, stimulates your sweat glands, and heads for your muscles and your interstitial bodily fluid, which is called body water. The uh, heat from the water warms up this bodily fluid or interstitial fluid, which has veins and arteries, which is, of course, pumping the blood pumping through them all the time, and so the blood picks up the temperature and heat kills pathogens, viruses, and bacteria in your blood. It prevents you from getting ill. The heat then goes uh, through that interstitial fluid and warms up your bones. When your bones get warm, your bone marrow gets slightly warm, a fraction of a degree, and that little tiny change in temperature of your bone marrow causes the production of more white corpuscles in your blood system. White corpuscles are the essence of your immune system. So using a hot tub, the right kind of a hot tub, can increase your immunity to disease. It can help prevent things that you got this morning in your blood by killing them and stimulates your system to remove toxic material from your body, which you can't help but getting in, but you don't need to have in there, so it discharges.